Hey, this is iTech Effects, and this is how to do suicide After Effects style. Alright, this is what you'll be creating. That's just a random explosion at the end. We're not going to be putting that. I just thought it'd be kind of cool. I don't know if you can actually watch it because it may be a bit choppy. But you get the general idea. Okay, so here's my footage. I'm going to drag this into a new comp by putting it in this button right here. And let me just ramp review the footage. Alright. So that's all it is. Alright. First off, let's get our uh, our footage tracked. So now change your workspace to motion tracking, and you get this little bar right here. And now click your layer, track motion, and now have make sure you have position checked and rotation checked. So now you have those two. And now let me just make these a bit bigger so I can actually move them around. Alright, the key to tracking is finding a point with high contrast. And the only time you're going to need the tracking is if you're doing something not on a tripod. But I am on a tripod, so I don't really need to do this. But I just do it just in case, you know. And so you guys know what to do if you are doing it not tripoded, if that makes sense. So now I'm going to hit the... Um, the track forward button let it track all right now you're gonna create a hit layer new null object and then make sure your target hit edit target make sure it's set on the null Okay, so now you have this null object right here. Now you're going to hit apply. Apply X and Y. And hit OK. So now you're, uh, you have all the tracking of the shot into one null object. So now what we need to do is get rid of his head. Well, actually my head. And so what I'm going to do is duplicate the footage. Control D. And right click time freeze frame but actually you're not going to freeze the frame until you don't want it frozen so let me undo that you don't want it frozen until everything's blank right when everything is just a clean slate so now here we go time enable time I mean freeze frame so now you have this frame frozen but we don't need that. So take the parenting whip and uh, attach it to the null object. And remember, this is only for if you don't have a tripod. So this will keep the background with the actual background in the footage, if that makes any sense. So yeah. Now... Let's start to get rid of his head. Let's do a layer, a new solid. Make this comp size and make it white. So now you have this nice white solid. Put the null, put the null object on top of the white solid. So now what we're going to do is create a mask. So let me just turn that off. Take the pen tool. Go to right right when his head gets blown off which is hit page down until his head should be blown off right there so I'm going to hit alt begin bracket so it takes it down to where the time is right there so this solid will not come on until then so now just take the pen tool draw a mask around his head so now you have this mask. If you turn it back on, you have this nice mask. Alright, so first off, hit MM, feather it out just a couple pixels for now. You can go back in and change this later. 
and now hit the white solid, hit P, and Shift, and R. So now you have the position and the rotation. So now keyframe both of these by hitting the stopwatches. And now you're just going to follow your head. And a few tips before I start. Uh, v is to get to your pointer tool, tool, and W is to get to your rotator tool. So that will come in handy on this step. So now I'm going to hit W. Actually, before I start this, I'm going to take the pan behind tool. And let me go back up. Take the pan behind tool and make sure that the pivot point is around his neck. So if we rotate it, it rotates around his neck. So let me just undo that. And now we're going to just follow the shot, rotate it, and move it. This is going to be the most time consuming. And it's actually not even that bad compared to some other stuff. But you can get creative with this, so once you get the general idea, feel free to do anything you like to this, to make it your own. And let me just rotate that by hitting W and then changing back to V. Maybe rotate it a little more and move it down page down, now just follow it out, maybe rotate it a bit, and take it out of the shot. So now, just go through, right there could be a problem, we're going to have to move that, and now just page up and page down, and make sure this mask stays generally with his head. Alright, so now that we have this, we're going to uh, deselect it so you can actually see it much easier. And that looks good. Maybe expand it a little and feather it. So hit MM. You can expand it, but I think I'm good for now. Feather it out 20, 20 so pixels. And that should do good for me right now. All right. So, now, let's take this footage, change its mat to alpha mat. So now, look what you have. You have your head. But wait, you turn it on, your head is gone. And now, this is where you have to make sure everything's nice. And some spots, like, right around here, where it kind of shadows, there's not much you can do about that unless it's not a shadow. Like, right now, I think that's just motion blur for my head, so I'm going to have to go in and um, change the mask. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, let's just expand it a few pixels now. Maybe eight pixels. And then maybe change the shape. just so it's a bit bigger on the right side. Maybe make that a bit, bit, bit bigger. See, so now I'm getting rid of some of that. And right there needs to be a bit bigger too. So that looks good, my head kind of appears right there. But this happens so fast, you actually don't have to make it look too perfect. But make it as good as you can. So that should be good. That should work for us right now. And you see how the gun kind of disappears right here? It's, uh, it's going to be like that, but the blood and all the muzzle flashes and everything will kind of cover it up somewhat. So, don't really have to worry about it. 